Hello, this is a video to show you how to test the wires and motors on your 3D Potter printer, specifically on our PotterBot series of printers. So the easiest and best way to actually do this is to move some cables around. So we're actually going to be plugging the extruder wire. This machine is still currently in production. We're going to plug this extruder wire into the Y motor and the Z motor but we have to do so carefully and we also have to do so when the machine is powered off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and turn the machine off. And we're gonna take off this cover off of the Z motor. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in the extruder wire. We can go ahead and turn the machine back on after the wire is fully plugged in. Now the extruder is plugged into the Z motor and we are going to go into the interface and select the lowest option on the extrude rate controls. So we're going to get a close up here in the interface to show you that. So here we have extrusion control and we're going to set the feed rate amount in millimeters to 100 and we're going to change the feed rate in millimeters per second to 200. Uh, you, if these are not at 100 and 200, you can right click the value and change the value to these numbers. So we're doing 100 on the amount and 200 on the speed. And we're going to go ahead and push these extrude and retract buttons in just a moment when I zoom back out and show you the printer. So I'm actually going to push the retract button right here. And as you can see, Z is going down. And I'll push the extrude button and Z moves up. And that's a good way that this now informs us that the extruder wire works correctly and the Z motor works correctly. So if you then plugged the Z motor wire into the Z motor and you pushed home Z, that would mean that the Z motor wire is damaged or not plugged in fully or not working in some capacity. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the Y motor now. So I'll go ahead and zoom back out. And again, we have to turn the printer off when plugging and unplugging cables. We're going to take the extruder wire and plug it into the Y motor and we'll turn the printer back on. Now the Y motor does not have a gearbox and we cannot use the 100 and 200 setting. We're going to set both of them to 10. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in. So on the amount, we're going to right click this and hit 10. And on the feed rate, we're gonna also do 10. If you do this at 100, 200, the motor is going to spin uh, very fast and not give you a good result. So you must change this to 10 when testing the Y motor, or if you're plugging it in to the X motor, you must set this to 10 and 10. So we're gonna go ahead and hit retract. And retract and brings the Y towards us. So we'll go ahead and show that more closely. And I'll go ahead and hit extrude and that moves the Y motor away from us. So one thing to note here is if it's all the way at the end, you don't want to have the motor crash into the ends of the rail preferably. So always try and do the test while it is kind of centered in the rail. As you can see here, we're at the end of the rail. We don't want to continue hitting retract because it'll just crash into the end of the rail. And that is how you test the motor wires and the motors individually by using this extrude command on the interface. When doing the X and Y rails, make sure it's 10 and 10 for the speeds on the X and the Y and uh, 100 and 200 for the Z. Thank you.